My name is Spaceboy, and today we're gonna take the XR2 Ravenstar, and we're gonna pilot it out to the International Space Station. Um, I've seen this done a few times on YouTube, so I thought to spice things up, we would take off here at Havana. Seems like everyone just takes off at the Kennedy Space Center uh, in Cape Canaveral and lands back there too, but there's tons of uh, spaceports in Orbiter. So here we are at Havana in Cuba. We're going to take off here and we're going to land at the Edwards Air Force Base in uh, California. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. First things first, um, I've already turned on external cooling. I'm going to turn on the APU. And this is going to be a short trip. So I'm actually going to take out the crew habitat module so we have less uh, mass to carry. We don't need it. Let's let's get rid of it. Take it out. Close the doors. Turn off AP so we don't have that annoying sound. All right, let's get to uh, planning. I'm gonna switch to glass cockpit. Turn that. Okay. Switch that so we can see better. So it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that yellow line of the ISS to cross over my position and then I'm going to take off in the direction that it's going. Um, I did this earlier and you can, so there is a launch MFD that you can download and use but it really only has one purpose and I think it's kind of pointless to have an MFD for something that you can figure out without. Um, so you can use that MFD to, to find the heading that you're supposed to go, but the way that I do it is I basically just take note of the direction that that orbital line is going and I just go out in that direction. It's pretty simple. Um, so like what I did earlier is uh, I just Pulled up a Google image of, of a compass with the uh, degree tick marks on it and I held it up against that and you can see that the direction the ISS is going is, is about 135 degrees approximately. And the thing is once you start getting into the air you can use the Align Plane MFD to kind of hone it in a little bit closer. So let's warp time ahead until that yellow line is just maybe just like a little bit before because it will take a few moments to take off but pretty much right when it starts touching I think is a good place to start and there we go so let's switch back oops here turn on APU turn off external cooling on board O2. Turn on AF pitch control and let's get going. One hundred knots. Should probably switch the HUD back to the surface. Not a good idea. V1. Rotate. Up. Gear up. Alright, we're gonna Warning bank over to 
I shot it just a little bit. That's all right. Okay. And pitch up. And full throttle. Let's do this. After 10 kilometers, they start to pitch down. I want to build speed so that I can get those scram jets going. If you take a look at the, the line plane MFD, you can see that that relative inclination is dropping very quickly. It's kind of misleading. It's it's hard to. You can't really gauge the, you know, how helpful that MFD is going to be until um, you're actually in the air. And if you look, take a look at the right at the map MFD, you can see that the green line is starting to move closer and closer to the yellow line. So. We're a little over Mach 3. I'm going to just turn on... Scram doors uh, are of course, should probably open the scram doors first. So we're going to start. Scram jets a little late, but it'll be fine. Scram's on. Main jets off. I'm going to try to stay this level. Oh! Every time, I always forget about whole temperature. Hopefully I don't burn up. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we're alright. We're, do we're doing good. Relative inclination is still dropping. So now I'm just keeping an eye on that whole temperature. I'm trying to stay as level as possible so that I can uh, utilize the atmosphere for my scram jets without burning up. velocity vector drop a little bit. I'm getting pretty high up here and uh, I need to stay low enough to have atmosphere propel the scram jets so I don't want to go too high yet. Mock 
switch over to the Orbit NFD. better about uh paying attention to the whole temperature it's pretty important um what i was doing though instead of paying attention to the whole temperature is uh i've been keeping an eye on the, my apa over there in the orbit mfd uh i don't want it to go over 250 i want it to be around 200 to 250 before i cut the engines and I really want to use up all of the scram fuel. This is actually uh, interesting. I usually don't go this high. Wow. Well, I guess they're. Um, I guess we're gonna have some leftover scram. This is the first time that's happened. Interesting. Turn back on main engines. Oh, turn on uh, RCS mode. I'm gonna go to 250, I think. Okay, good enough. Okay, we're high enough. I'm gonna pull out the radiator. I'm gonna open the retro doors because we're gonna need that when we're docking. And then when the radiator is fully deployed, I'm gonna turn off the APU. Okay, I'm gonna dump the rest of my scram fuel, just extra weight. Warning. Fuel While I'm at it, I'm actually just gonna dump like Warning. Scram fuel low. Warning. Fuel dump. half of Warning. this uh, locks. Warning. Locks I don't know if it's really that important Warning. because, I mean we're talking about three, a little bit over 300 kilograms, Warning. meanwhile locks my main dump. fuel is 8,500 kilograms. Uh, but, you know, 150 or so, I guess it'll make a difference eventually. And I'm not going to need it, so I guess it's something I can get rid of. That's probably fine. I'm, I'm bored. Okay, let's move on. So, all right, we're all good there. Okay. I wonder. I uh, this is the first time that I've gone to orbit without the crew habitat module. I wonder if that's why. Uh, that you know made a difference there with like the scram ascent. Who, who knows. Let's switch to this view, see better. APT is 430. Um, let's get ready to... So my relative inclination is less than 3. That's pretty good. 2,000 seconds before I hit the next node. So what we're going to do, we're going to circulate, and then we're going to get into plane. Um, and then I think that will probably be enough for this first video, and then we'll we'll go from there. So I'm gonna pull up burn time MFD, switch to apoapsis, and circulize. Okay, we're gonna 
warp ahead until we're close. Move to prograde. burn time autopilot take care of that for us. Sick. Okay. Let's go back to the line plane. We need 17 seconds of thrust. Heading towards the descending node, which means that we will be in normal plus. Let's go ahead and get that going. Three, two, one. Burning, bringing that relative inclination down. One. All right, nailed it. Let's see here. I'm just gonna pull up the map just to kind of see. Alright, so about a little less than half an orbit away. I'm going to target the ISS here. And I think I'm going to stop the video at this point and uh, start up uh, the next video from here.